I'm here at the Canadian Tire Motorsport Park to drive a $150,000 Honda. Not! This Italian made track car is made entirely of carbon fiber. It's powered by a 250 horsepower Honda K20 engine. The whole car weighs just 500 kilograms, so talk about power to weight. It's the Wolf GB08. It's, uh, it's a purpose-built race car for a series called the uh, Speed Euro series in Europe. It was built to the FAA CN regulations. Um, it has a two-liter K20 Honda engine in it. Mugen version of the K20, so it's not exactly stock, but all, all the internals, all the, the parts that you would need to change in a rebuild are stock Honda parts. It's mated to a Sadev six-speed sequential gearbox, which is available with or without a paddle shift. The chassis itself is uh, produced by the same people that make the Pagani Zonda, the same supplier in Italy. Speaking of championships, Wolf Racing has won several in the Italian Prototypes Championship, Speed Euro Series, and V de V Proto Endurance Series since the GB08 made its debut in 2010 with the Avalon Formula Team. It has raced in the 25 hours of Thunder Hill and other endurance races and is set to expand efforts in North America via the Tudor United Sports Car Series with a future prototype set to unveil soon. And its suitability as a track car has allowed us to, uh, to bring it over to Canada and to bring it over to the, to the track day market over here. This car, we've gotten it out of the box and it's, it's, been, it's been great. It's definitely the best car that I've personally ever driven. It's, it's a lot faster. It has a lot more engineering, and every time you think you're getting close, you're, you're, you're not close to the limit. The experience is visceral, it's exciting, you won't get bored of it. Formula cars can be physically demanding to drive, but while I didn't get to handle the controls myself, there is enough room in the cockpit to move the driver over to one side, remake a seat in a new position, and take passengers around in relative comfort. It is, however, a tight squeeze, but it was the only way for me to experience the rush of air racing past my helmet on the long and bumpy Andretti straightaway before feeling the immense downforce and g-forces coming through the final turns. The sound of the Honda engine is music to the ears too. And in this case, the wallet. Tires are $1,200 for a set. They last forever because uh, the car is very light. For my Corvette or the Cup car, you're looking at $2,000. Front rotors and pads for the vet are $1,400, $1,500. For this car, off a set for the front with rotors and pads is under $600, and they last forever. So for that kind of running cost, I, I, I don't think anything out there is gonna beat this. Um, they're not very difficult to look after. Um, they've, lots of the components have long lives, long uh, service lives. Um, the engine is 90 hours. It's a car that shouldn't need much in the way of work, but it would need some kind of service. It's still a racing car at the end of the day. It's not a, uh, not a street car. It's the end of the day and things have gone silent here at CTMP. All the other cars and drivers have left to go home and the GB08 is getting packed onto a trailer to do the same. And I want to give a special thank you to Six Gear for putting on such an amazing track day. For PR and Ignition, I'm Sean Keenan. <laughs>